actually have larger eyes and they're placed on the sides of their heads. And I said, oh, that's why models look that way. <laughs> Still getting over the worst mistake I ever made in my life, which was dating a homeless man. 100% true. If you go to the Caribbean with your gay best friend and you drink for 36 hours before even getting off the plane, and you find a man sleeping in the sand and you think that it's sexy and that he's a vagabond, it's not. Don't bring him home to Chicago with you and make him your boyfriend. It'll all turn out very terrible. <laughs> we had a terrible relationship. He would just play the WWE wrestling game all day on the Xbox where you move the joystick really quickly to keep somebody pinned. And he was doing this for hours, hours on end one day and caught me staring at him. He's like, what are you looking at him like that? Why can't you do that to my vagina? <laughs> and his, his response was, your vagina doesn't give me a championship belt. <laughs> so the next day, because I'm classy, I got drunk on wine coolers, and I went to Michael's craft store, I bought a giant piece of leather, I cut the shape of a championship belt, I bedazzled the middle of that thing with my initials on it, I have a bedazzler, I was born in 85, I'm proud of it. <laughs> Came home with someone over my shoulder, walking the door. He's like, what's that? I'm like, it's a championship belt, bitch, get to work. <laughs> that was a problem in the first place. He didn't know how to work, so. <laughs> they say on the commercials it costs 33 cents a day to keep a homeless person alive. It's a lie. It's $70.97 a day. I did the math. Over the course of a year and a half, adult men drink way too much milk. I'm just putting that out there. You're already an adult. Stop the milk. I'm in a good relationship now, which is amazing, but people in Hollywood are really confused by this. They're like, how do you ever expect to make it in this industry if you can't sleep your way to the top? And that's a really good point. Um, <laughs> but if you're smart and you're a good businesswoman like I am, you'll find 10 slutty friends and you'll make them sleep around for you. <laughs> denominational churches. That's where you can find them. That's where they go to find forgiveness and falafel. I eat a lot of red meat. I'm from the Midwest. Hello. Uh, I feel really bad about eating steak in front of my vegetarian friends. One of my guy friends was like, you have to stop feeling bad about eating meat because humans are designed to be carnivores. We're designed to be carnivores because we have eyes on the front of our heads. Herbivores actually have larger eyes and they're placed on the sides of their heads. And I said, oh, that's why models look that way. 